In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your TikTok pixel to your Shopify store. If you want to run TikTok ad campaigns, it's essential that you have your TikTok pixel set up correctly because this is what allows you to collect data on people that actually come over to your Shopify store. And then TikTok will use this data to optimize your ad campaigns. So like I say, it's essential that you have your TikTok pixel set up correctly in order to start running TikTok ad campaigns. So the first thing you are going to do in order to set up your TikTok pixel on your Shopify store is just head over to Google and type in TikTok Business Center. You can then scroll down and you will find this link here that says TikTok Business Center. Just click on this. You will then be brought over to the TikTok Business Center. Just click on Get Started. From here, you are going to click on Sign Up Now. And then you can choose to sign up with your email and choose a password or if you have a TikTok account for your Shopify store, so if you have a TikTok account related to your Shopify store's brand, you can click on sign up with the TikTok. So I have an account for my brand, so I'm gonna click on sign up with TikTok. You can then choose how you want to log in. I'm gonna choose phone, email, or username, and then you can enter in your credentials and click on login. You can just select all of the TikTok permissions and click on continue. You will be prompted to add an email or a phone number to your TikTok business account. So you can just go and verify either of these. So I'm just gonna click on send code. And then you can just add that code and click on add email or phone number. You can then enter in your business information. So you can just choose, I am an advertiser. You are going to enter in your company website, choose an industry. You are then going to enter in some of your information like your company name. So you, if you don't have a registered company, you can just go and enter in the same name as your store. Enter in a phone number. Again, if you don't have a specific phone number for your store, you can just go and enter in your personal phone number. No one is going to see this information except TikTok for business. So once you have filled out all of this information, just click on confirm. You will then be brought over to the TikTok ads manager and you will be prompted to start creating an ads campaign. Now we don't want to do this. What we want to do is we want to connect our TikTok pixel to Shopify. So we are just going to click on switch to full version and then click on confirm. You should then be brought over to the campaigns tab that looks like this. Alternatively, you might be brought straight to the dashboard. It doesn't really matter because now we are going to head to Shopify and we are going to install the TikTok app. So from Shopify, you are going to come to apps and you are going to click on app and sales channel settings. And then you are going to click on Shopify app store. And then in the search bar, you are just going to type in TikTok and hit enter. You will see this first app here that says TikTok. So just click on this. Now this is a completely free app. So don't worry, you don't have to pay anything to set this up. And then you can just click on install and then just click on install again. You will then be brought over to the TikTok app. So you can just close this step-by-step -step guide because I'm going to show you how to do everything. So where it says grow your business with TikTok ads, just click on get started. It will say TikTok for business and from here it will say create new. Now we've already just created a TikTok for business account. So we're just going to click on connect. If you're still logged in to your TikTok for business account, it should come up automatically and you can click on connect. You will then be prompted to connect your TikTok business center account. Again, we've already created that. So we can just click on connect. Once you click on that, you will see TikTok ads manager. So now we want to connect our TikTok ads manager to our Shopify store. Now, if you've just created your TikTok ads manager, which we have just done in this video, it will say account contract pending. And this just means that they're waiting to approve your ads manager. In most cases, it will be approved within 24 hours. So we are just going to wait and come back in a few hours and then I should be able to connect my TikTok ads manager to my Shopify store. And once we have done that, then we can move on to actually connecting the pixel to our store. So I have just left this for about two hours and now I have come back and refreshed the screen. And now you can see that my TikTok ads manager has been approved and it is ready to connect. Now, if you leave it more than 24 hours and your TikTok ads manager isn't approved, just come over to your TikTok ads manager and you can click on ads assistant and you can click on get support and they should be able to help you get your ads manager approved. One other thing you can try is clicking on set up payments and just adding a payment method to your TikTok ads manager. This can actually help to get it approved quicker. So now if we come back to Shopify, we can click on connect. And once you click on connect, you will now see data sharing. 
you can scroll down and you are going to choose maximum. And then if you scroll down further, you will see TikTok pixel for Shopify. So you have gone and created a new pixel. If you don't see this, just refresh the screen and then under data sharing, you should see TikTok pixel for Shopify. Now this is going to be the pixel that collects the data on our Shopify store that we can use to help to optimize our TikTok ad campaigns. So from here, you are just going to click on confirm. And once you have done that, just click on finish setup. You will then be brought back to the TikTok app dashboard and you will see that it's prompting you to create an ads campaign. Now there is one last step that we need to take to confirm that our TikTok pixel is connected to our Shopify store. So you can come over to your TikTok ads manager, you can click on the menu and then click on events manager. Once you click on events manager, you will be brought over to a page that looks like this. You are going to click on data sources and then from here you will see TikTok pixel for Shopify. Just click on this and then you will be brought over to a page that looks like this. Click on test events and from here you are going to paste your Shopify store URL in here and click on open website. You will then be brought over to your Shopify store. So now we can come back to our TikTok events manager and we can refresh this. And when you refresh the events manager, when you scroll down, you should see your event activity in here. Now, if you don't see it like I'm seeing right now, we can also install the TikTok Pixel Helper. So we are going to click on Install Pixel Helper. We are going to click on Add to Chrome and just click on Install. And once you install this extension, you can come over to your Shopify store. You can click on the Chrome extension and you should see your TikTok Pixel and you should see some events. So we have the page view event here. If we click on this, we can see event details. So now we can see and we can confirm that events are being tracked from our Shopify store to our TikTok pixel. So we can come back to our events manager. We can refresh this again. And then from here, when people actually start taking action on your store, you should see events showing up in here. Now, as you can see, it says test events will not be included in actual data. So you might not see the test events in here, but as long as you see the events being displayed with the Chrome extension, then you know that your TikTok pixel has been set up correctly. And it's as simple as that to connect your TikTok pixel to your Shopify store and start collecting data so you can optimize your TikTok ad campaigns. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.